This video is geared towards men in the West. Listen, those who succeed in life, those who achieve what they aim to achieve, are those who understand what the current situation is and do the best to adapt, adjust, and take advantage of it. The fools, the ones who continuously fail, are the ones who try to change the system. They try to fight gravity, they try to fight biology, they try to fight natural laws, and guess what happens? They lose every time. Now I'm referring to how it is in the Western world with the, how the women are, how the career feminine women are. Listen, you are not going to fight this trend. You are not going to win. So ask yourself, even if you were to get together with these women in which you are in constant competition with, what do you have to gain? Let's say you do convince one of them to, to marry you and constantly challenge you, constantly be difficult, constantly you're on your toes being in competition to see who's got the upper hand. And in exchange for what? In exchange for the sex which reduces as time goes by. Now, if you're a man, isn't actually having a variety of sex better than just limited to one who you have to beg to get sex for? And do you even want to? Women today in the West, they insist on being a man. They insist on doing a man's job. They want to go out there, they want to work, they want to earn money. And more important than that, they want to have that alpha energy, which is so unattractive to a strong man with options. If you're one of these uh, pushover women, men, pushover men that says, you know, hey, you know, I don't know, what do you want to have for lunch? Yeah, you're fine. If, you, if you're the kind that lets the woman take the lead, go ahead and, and devote yourself to a lifetime of pain. But if you're a normal man who likes to take lead, who likes to stand his ground, who likes to be strong and make the decisions in, in agreement and in compassion with the, with the woman, I'm not saying that you have to rule over them, but you are the one who takes the lead and believe you, me. If no one else has ever told you, allow me to tell you, women universally, universally prefer men who take lead, make decisions, and are in control. They don't like wishy-washy men who are looking up to the woman to make the first move and then follow them like a pet. So look at these wealthy men, look at the wealthy famous men who have married and regretted it badly along with a large check they had to write. Ronaldo, Tom Brady, Ron Perlman, Michael Jordan. The list is too long to mention. Because women in the West have become impossible, they've become undesirable, they've become unpleasant, and they've become a man in a woman's body which is not appealing to us. Believe me, no man prefers to subject himself to a woman that has masculine energy and is being constantly bombarded and, and affirmed by the media that she needs to be a man and she doesn't need uh, a man which is a complete BS, but you know, a lie repeated becomes believable. So if a woman you're dating, uh, you know, pushes you to get married and everything, don't let that go to your head. Don't let that uh, stroke your ego. Believe me, it is not you. It is the options and the conditions that you are bringing to the table. She is choosing you for the conditions that are you providing. So if you, if the same you was minus those conditions, if you didn't have a high earning job and a big house and a car and everything, she would not give you the time of day. And believe me, even with those things, after you are married, after she's, uh, you know, past the point of uh, really needing you, you will see her real face and it is not going to be a pretty one. It would just be an accessory that provides and is there to, to, to satisfy her needs and wants and nothing more. And at the slightest uh, disagreement, at the slightest thing you do that she doesn't like, she will uh, dangle that uh, divorce uh, laws of the West over your head, which is, believe me, means uh, saying goodbye to 65% of everything you own. So what's the point of this video? The point of this video is the women of the West, the career feminine women of the West, 
are the way they are now you are not going to change them and don't listen to these coaches who give you all these complicated uh, methods of dealing with them why would you want to why would you want to there are places in the world where you can satisfy your sexual needs which is the biggest need let's face it is the biggest need a man has from a woman you can satisfy your sexual needs with younger thinner more pleasant women and a variety of women and then that weight and that need is taken off your shoulders then you can attend to your other facets of life instead of always being in need of something that you're not getting and you have to beg for and you have to work for and you have to put up so much of your um, existence and your finances and everything else in jeopardy to get it it is not worth it play it smart adjust and adapt and take advantage of the options that are available to you today and instead of changing the laws of physics make it work to your advantage all the best